Someone's asked us, what are Garblin circuits? Well, basically, if you think of a computing circuit, it takes some input and produces some output. What a garbled circuit is, is an encrypted version of that circuit. So instead of encrypting the data, we actually encrypt the circuit itself. So people can't even work out what the gates are. I seem to have had a question here from my mother. She's asked, is there any really, really good books on uh, encryption out there that, that, that someone should read who's got a mathematical background? And to be honest, yes, I think there is. There's one that's called Cryptography Made Simple by uh, someone called Nigel Smart. So maybe they should go and buy that. Other books are available. There's um, a couple of other books you would recommend. There's one by uh, someone called Katz and Lindell that you might want to read as well. But I would recommend Cryptography Made Simple by Smart. So someone's asked about worst case and average case um, hardness. Now, in cryptography, we're actually interested in average case hardness. What we're interested in is that we can come up with an instance of a problem which is hard to solve on average, that every instance that we come up with is going to be hard to solve. Now, the problem is, is that computer science has done a lot of work on what's called worst case hardness. It knows there are certain problems which are very, very hard for ver some specific instances. But alas, most of those instances are actually quite easy in practice. So much of what's called complexity theory in computer science, which is analyzing worst case behavior of problems is really not applicable to cryptography because cryptography wants every instance to be hard.